And welcome back. So now that I've completed my Cyber Elf list, as you can see here, and you can take note of which ones I have currently equipped, I figured I'd do a little video just to show how bullshit powerful you can get. Take note of my health bar and how big it is, and all that stuff. This is the health bar and all the stats and stuff that I used to get through the game. It was good enough for that. However, take a look at this shit right here. That's another little chunk of my health bar. Yet another chunk. And each one of these is enough for about one or two extra hits before you die. On top of what I had originally. Going to show a little feeding here. The large ones had to be upgraded twice. The small ones just had to be upgraded once. And the really tiny ones, they don't have to be upgraded at all. You can just use those as is. Of course, you do have to go to a trans server in order to download them and use them. And you can only use three at a time, so choose wisely. Okay, that's another health increase, another health increase. And we'll grab that sub tank right there. So, sub tanks. That's what that does. That's what that unused option in my stat screen is. Every one of these will fill a fully upgraded health bar all the way to the top. At least one level. It won't do a double level, which is something you're going to see in a second here. And this is as large as the health bar gets. Take note that that's about double what we started with and what I used to get through the videos and stuff. And then we could double that again by adding a color on top of that. And to make matters even more hilarious, this guy really cuts down on damage and is roughly equivalent to the special armors in the old games, the X-Series, stuff like that. So you're taking a lot less damage there. And of course we have four of those sub-tanks. Just to give you an idea of how much damage I could potentially have taken if I actually upgraded stuff. It's quite a bit more than I actually was allowed to due to the ranks. Of course, even with the amount I've used so far, my rank would drop like a fucking stone and I'd probably only be able to get like a C rank at best. So when you're playing for ranks, you really can't do that. So I'm pretty much stuck playing with standard health bars through the entire four part series. And that's going to be a dick. Sadly, there's no real unlockables or anything like that in the first game, although that does come into play in the later entries, and to some extent those are going to make things a lot easier, and it's going to be a lot more fun when I get to playing around with those. But unfortunately, there's nothing here, and there's not even like a mini game to unlock, which is something that comes into play later. I believe that's it. So that's how big the health bar gets and how all the upgrades work. Uh, nothing else to say, I guess. Fuck you all, good night.